Hello everyone, myself Kinkal from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center Nausari. This video lecture is about symmetric key distribution techniques. So first of all, we will discuss what is key distribution. After that, we will discuss two methods of symmetric key distribution. First one is symmetric key distribution using symmetric encryption and symmetric key distribution using asymmetric encryption. So first is what is key distribution. Key distribution is the function that delivers a key to two parties who wish to exchange a secure encrypted data. Some sort of mechanism or protocol is needed or provided for the secure distribution of the keys. Key distribution often involves use of the master key and the session key. Master keys are the keys which are used infrequently and used for the long time. And session keys are the generated keys which is distributed for temporary use between the two parties. So first method we will see that is simple secret key distribution. So in, in this method first of all initiator A generate a public and private key pair that is in, uh, its public key PUA and private key PRA and transmit its pub, uh, transmit a message to B consisting of its public key and the Identity identifier of the A that is IDA. In the next step, we generate a secret key KS and transmit it to a A encrypted with the A's public key. So here A compute A compute the message uh, A has a, a only A has its private key that is PRA. So A will decrypt the message which is coming from the B to recover the secret key KS because only A can decrypt the message only A and B will know the identity of the identity of the KS. So in this way secret key is distributed between the initiator A and initiator B. This is the math that is the asymmetric key distribution using the asymmetric encryption. So A discard the P after that A discard the public key of public key and private key of a and we discard the public key of A. Next is symmetric uh, secret key distribution with the confidentiality and authentication. So in the previous method, man in the middle attack is possible. So this is very uh, this method is very secure, which provides the confidentiality and authentication. In which first of all, user A A uses B's public key to encrypt a message to be containing an identifier of A and a nonce N1 which is identi identify this transaction uniquely. Here nonce is used to identify the transaction uniquely. In, in the next step, we send a message to A encrypted with the encrypted with the public key of A and containing the A's A's nonce as well as the new nonce generated by the B because only B could have the decrypted the message the presence of the N1 in the message to assure that the correspondent is the B. So in the next, in the third step, A returns N2 encrypted using the B's public key to assure that the, to assure B that its correspondent is A. Now in this next step, A selects a secret key KS and sends message which is encrypted using the B's public key to B. Encryption with the B's public key ensure that only B can read that message. And encryption with the A's private key ensure that the only A could have sent it. So in this way we are achieving confidentiality and authentication in the secret key distribution using the asymmetric key encryption. We compute the session key using the public key of A and the private key of A itself to recover the secret key. Next, we will see another method that is symmetric key distribution using the symmetric encryption. So, here two parties A and B key distribution can be achieved in the number of ways. First method is A can select the key and physically deliver it to the B. Second method is A and B can use the third party which can select the key and physically deliver it to the A and B. The third method is if A and B have previously and recently used a key, one party can transmit the transmit the new key to the other encrypted using the old key. And the fourth method is if A and B 
each has an encrypted connection to a third party to see then the third party can deliver a key on a encrypted link to a and b so these are some methods by which the symmetric key distribution is done using the symmetric encryption now we will see symmetric key distribution using the key distribution center so in this method first of all first of all a issue a initiator a issue a request to the key distribution center for a session key for a session key to protect a logical connection to the b this message includes the id of a id of b this message includes the id of a id of b and the nonce n1 which uniquely identify this transaction then after that key distribution center return the message with the uh, encrypt the message with the message with the message with message with the secret key of a and session key ks and also 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 concatenate the original message which was sent by the initiator and some information and also give some information for the b so now initiator a will send this information information of b which is given by the key distribution center to a to the initiator b in the next step initiator b will a b will encrypt the nonce and to with the session key ks and send it to the initiator a in the next step next step initiator a will also use that session key ks and send the f of n2 that is the function of n2 to uh, to clarify that it is uh, it is it is uh, given by the initiator a not by the not by the any attacker here not that the actual key distribution involves steps 1 2 3 steps number 4 and 5 st steps number 4 and 5 are the authentication step and step number 1 2 3 are the actual key distribution step so in this way using the key distribution center session key ks is ks is shared between the initiate uh, sender and the receiver thank you